Brothers, sisters, the celestial energies, brother wisdom. <laughs> you know, I chuckled. I was just uh, reading over the video of the root cause, and someone says, um, "So are you telling us they get ready to come to battle? We supposed to be on the front line in meditation?" <laughs> I laughed so hard because <laughs> you should be in meditation now. And the reason why your meditation is so that you can charge yourself up. Uh, Taiwan just had a 5.8 earthquake um, about an hour ago. Um, the energy is flowing. There's several other um, big earthquakes that happened uh, within the last three hours. Um, I want to talk about this, let this, about this flowing energy. All right. So many of us have been taught by this Western system. All right this Western system, these orc beings, and so many are taught to use force with everything. You see the police, they use force. You know, you see your football and basketball using force. You know, you see your martial arts using force, all right? Everything is about the force. The true force has nothing to do with how much of an impact you can have on a punch or a kick. The true force has all to do with the energy that flows within you. Um, probably about a half an hour ago or so, some uh, police officers, one was an orc, one was a brother, had pulled his young brother over for whatever reason, I don't know. And of course, I could have walked up there to where they were and confronted, but I decided not to because that would have been using force. Going up there, hey, what's up? Why y'all in our da 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 da? You know, so that would have been becoming emotional. I decided not to use force and I started to fight with the force that was within me. So I let the energy flow. And I had my hands at a position, all right, on my side, all right. My hands were at my side and they were going upward um, towards where the brother was. And I sent the energy, all right, I sent heavy, heavy energy. To where they were. I can see the orc being starting to kind of jitter and twitch. And he wasn't too sure because at first, you know, he was just all right. All of a sudden, he just start, started um, just moving around. He was just moving around a whole lot. I was like, okay, that energy is really affecting him. But the brother, all right, because the orc being wanted to lock the young brother up. The brother, who was a police officer, who was all about putting the young brother in jail when I sent that energy to where they were. Okay? It was a force of energy. I mean, my hands were literally hot. My hands were burning up, and I was sending that energy the whole time that they were there. I was sending that energy to them, and I let it flow. I let the energy just flow. And even though cars were passing by on the main road, all right, even though cars were passing by on the main road, it didn't stop the energy. And there, what happened? They let the brother go. All right. So it's all about letting it flow. It's all about letting the energy flow. When you are facing the enemy, and like I, I was telling whoever that was that made that statement, you know, about us standing on the front line in meditation. No, we're going to be at war. We're not going to be our regular selves that we are now. We're going to be at war. We're not going to be sitting. Oh, my God, I'm good. What? We're praying to who? Who we praying to? We should have already been in the state of meditation now. So that when that time comes, all we're doing is letting the energy flow. And controlling the elements. All right? So it's all about letting it flow. 
letting this energy flow. All right. You always go to Mother Universe. She's God. <laughs> you always go to Mother Universe, Mother Cosmos. She's God. All right. You always go to Mother Universe, Mother Cosmos. And say, I tap into your infinite power and energy. You don't say, give me your energy and power and energy. You pray in. You don't ask because we are extra extensions of the cosmos, which means we don't have to ask for anything. All we do is flow. So you let it flow. I tap into the infinite power and energy of the cosmos. I tap into the nature of the universe. I tap into all powers that are given to me. I bring down the force of the cosmos to fill me and all that is around me. See, there you go. Now you're letting it flow. It's all about letting it flow. It's all about becoming one with the whole entire creator of who of our of who we are, the original uh, 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 people. All right. It's all about that. You know, it's all about we flowing. It's all about we who the Atlanteans. All right. We the Atlanteans about us transforming back over to who we originally were. You know, that that's that movie, uh, that show Atlantis um, that Disney has. And it's really strange that in this show, the people are blue. Hmm. And then you got some orc pings there, but you know, it's rather strange in the show that the people are blue. So, you know, you gotta let it flow. It's all about the energy flowing. All right, that's what it's all about the energy flowing. You know, let the energy flow through you. You know, like I said, I could have went over to that brother, to that where that was, and that would have been a confrontation. But I didn't use force. I let it flow. So in the confrontation, let it flow. Like they show you on Dragon Ball Z, they they show you the force. They tell you, ah, 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 what's all that for? Where does that get you? Where does that get you? It's not about ah. These orc beings only know force. And they only feel like the only way to get something across is to be forceful. No. You remember what, what, what we talked about? All right? Remember this? Now you're in full power. You gotta let it flow. It's all about letting it flow. It's all about becoming one with the very creator that created you from the beginning. I always, always say it over and over. Energy does not move fast. Energy moves slow. But if you're in a battle, that energy is very intelligent. All right? The energy is alive. The energy is very intelligent. And when you're in a battle, that energy knows that, well, can't take my time getting to this enemy. So when it does this, I'm going to speed the process up and get there faster than he could put his hand or she can put their hand out. All right. Energy is intelligent. Energy is a magnificent, magnificent source of power. Energy is very much alive. Energy hears and sees. Energy knows. The energy smells, tastes, touch. Energy is very much alive. So we are the energy that created us from the beginning. So we must learn how to flow. Learn how to flow. Learn how to take your time and become one with the very source that created you from the beginning. 
It's about the flowing nature of who you are. We know how to fight. We know how to fight. But we, do we really know how to fight? Do we really know how to fight? There was once a brother who was really outraged. And I was at a Home Depot one time. And he had a argument with his girlfriend. And me and the brothers, we wouldn't let him stand. And we wouldn't let him get nowhere near the woman. So he came to me with his fist balled up. He was going to hit me. And I said, no, brother. No, brother. No. And then he stood back and he looked at me. He just looked at me. And then I tried to approach him. A few minutes later, after everything broke up, I tried to approach him and he looked at me and he ran from me because that energy that came from me touched him. Okay. Location, Taiwan, class, light, magnitude, 4.6, four minutes ago. The energy is flowing. The earthquakes, everything, everything is flowing. You just flow, just like the wind blows. Just like the water flows. Just like the sun, the energy from the sun flows. You flow. You make the energy. You made the energy flow. That's what it's all about, making the energy flow. Becoming one with that source. That's why you should be in meditation now. So that while you're in meditation now, all right, you should be charging yourself up to full level. I've got uh, this here that I created and I've learned how to charge myself up with this. And I've been using frequencies to make myself more powerful. All right. And what I've been doing is I've been sending that power out to you guys. Send it up into the cosmos and have it to go to all of our people. All right. So the, within this creativity, we must learn that the flowing energy is all about us gathering energy and gathering, gathering power. This is the only way that we are able to flow. All right? You got to flow. You got to flow. Like I said, you know, it was, I remember the brothers who was fighting out right out front. And yes, I could have went out there and tried to break it up, but everybody was riled up. Everybody was riled up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, if I go over here and I try to stop this fight, then they're going to want to fight me. So what did I do? And I sent the energy for peace and balance. All right. And all of a sudden, the two brothers who was throwing blows at each other just stopped. They just stopped. And then everybody in the crowd all of a sudden just calmed down. And everybody just went their separate ways. Like nothing ever happened. You see what I'm saying? You gotta let it flow. You got to let the energy flow. It's not about force. It's not about power. You gotta understand that when we battle against these beings, they want to try to going to want to try to use force against us. You must always remain in inner peace and inner balance. Always remain in inner peace and inner balance. All right? Because that's where all your power comes from. Your inner peace. Your balance. That's where all of your power comes from. And that's how you are, uh, you become powerful and mighty 
through your inner peace and inner balance. So you got to let it flow. That's why some people, some of say, well, I go into meditation and my mind is just roaring. You got to tell yourself inner peace, inner balance, because your mind is flowing. That's force. Your mind, your spirit and your body should be all one. Body, spirit and soul. It should all be one. So when you go into meditation, whatever your mind is thinking should automatically begin to cease because I'm going into my mode of gaining energy from the cosmos. So if you're having these things, you have too much of the nature of force, which is a false nature. The true nature is the nature of flowing. And when it flows, you know that you are far, far more powerful than anybody else. And if you can remember the movie, The Matrix and Neo, all right, and they were they were pointing the gun and they were getting just when they were getting ready to shoot. He could have used force to grab something to try to shoot back, but it wasn't that. He let it flow. He said, no. And then he let it flow. And once he let it flow, that energy literally created a portal, an electromagnetic field. And it stopped those bullets in midair. And this is not science fiction because they're letting you know this can this is this is something that it 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 it, it has been done as they were fighting. Some of our people, it has been done. They just don't put stuff there for nothing. They let you know this is the power that you have. Believe in yourself. Not God or Jesus or Buddha or, or Yahweh or Jehovah or Yahushua or Yahshua and all that. No, believe in you. Believe in you. You are the cosmos. You are the nature of everything. You are the power behind you. You are the strength behind you. So you got to let it flow. Let it flow. Right? Practice, meditate, focus, change your mindset, your diet. We talked about the root cause, that, that video, the root cause, talking about your diet. What What's, what's this nanotechnology is doing? It's teaching, it's having our people think about force. I got to fight. I got to shoot. I got to stab. I got to kick. I got to punch. It's not about that. It's not about that at all. The nature of the cosmos is the true nature of peace within, which brings the power on the outside. Though a tornado has got a raging uh, um, um, beast on the outside of it, on the inside of it, it's pure peace. And it's just letting everything around it flow. And a tornado is a beautiful energy. And it just flows. You look at it, it flows. It's, it's not out of order. It's not all broken up. It's, it's a perfect funnel cloud, which is which emits the number nine. And it and it gets in this path and it and, and, and it gets and it, and it flows. And nothing can stop it until it wants to stop. So in order to battle, you have to learn how to let it flow. Let the energy flow. No, we're not sitting on the, on the front line doing this here. We're not on the front line doing it in meditation. We're on the front line ready for battle.
We're on the front line ready for battle. We're ready to emit energy and power from our bodies. And we are being fully charged by the planet and the cosmos at the same time. And what are they doing? They're letting it flow. Letting it flow. They're letting it flow. So as you there fighting, what's happening? It's flowing. It's an infinite amount of energy and power for all of us. And it's just flowing. It's just flowing. And the energy is just moving through you, all around you. All right? So that's what it's about. It's all about letting it flow. You got to let it flow. It's not about force. You want to fight against these orcs? I guarantee you, when you're in your true power and your true mindset, your mindset of perfection, they will never want to touch you. They will never want to be anywhere near you because they see who you are. They see the beast. They see your higher form. They see it all. It's all about you becoming one with yourself. Symmetry. Symmetry is all about becoming one. It's all about knowing who you are, knowing the power that you have. That's what it's all about. Knowing all the power that you have, knowing that there is no one who can make you fall. There is no one who can who can who can hold you back. You're the only one who holds you back. And how do you hold yourself back? Right here. Right here. By thinking that I can do this or I can do that instead of flowing. When you realize that you can flow. You're going to find yourself in a, perf in a perfect place of energy and power. Because the original Tai Chi is called body energy. The original Tai Chi is we let energy come from our bodies. It wasn't about the forceful, this, 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 kicking, punches, no, 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 no. That's Western world. The original. They showed you on the on the cartoons. They showed you on um on uh, uh, uh the the cartoon um avatar. And they showed you in the battle and how they fought and 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 when they used their bodies, they were making energy flow from their bodies, and they never physically fought. All of everything that they they never physically touched each other. What did they do? They energy within them and they were throwing stones and creating water all right that's what they were doing so you got to understand it's all about letting it flow once you let it flow then you will know that you are one with the cosmos all right my people all power to the multi chakra celestial energy beings just let it flow it's all you got to do is let it flow. Peace to you all.